wakati kama huu baya ametupa ili tupate na kusikia neno lake asubuhi ya leo na ningependa tupate na kuomba ili tufungue kwa maombi baba mtakatifu nina kushukuru asubuhi ya leo ni kwa maana wewe ni Mungu na kuna aliye kama wewe mfalme wa neema sande mfalme wa neema ni kwa ajili ya mtazamaji Baya Bwana wa Israeli sasa Bwana wa Israeli amekaa ili kusikiza neno lako naomba ili shadai wa mbingu ukanene nasi roho mtakatifu wako akatunene mema roho mtakatifu wako akatufunze Bwana maana Bwana wa Israeli ni mwalimu katika jina la Yesu wacha roho mtakatifu wako Bwana akazungumuze jambo jipya asubuhi ya leo ni kuoa ajili ya huyu mtazamaji Karika china la Yesu Mungu wa Israeli naomba ukanene nasi hadi tamati Karika china la Yesu tunaomba na kuamini Amen Ah uh, uh, tufungue katika kitabu cha Yakobo sura ya kwanza mstari wa kumi na tisa tufike mstari wa ishirini na saba James chapter number 1 verse 19 down to 27 na ningependa tusome kwa pamoja na neno la Mungu litubariki na nitasoma verse number 19 my dear brothers and sisters take note of this anyone should be quick to, to, to listen slow to speak and slow to become angry because human anger does not produce uh, the righteousness that God uh, desires uh, therefore get rid uh, of all more all moral field uh, and the evil that that is so prevalent uh, and humbly accept the word planted in you which can save you do not merely listen to the to the word uh, and to the word and so deceive yourself do what it is says uh, anyone uh, who listen to the word uh, to the word but does not do what what it is says uh, is like someone who looks uh, at his face uh, in a mirror and after looking at himself uh, goes away and immediately forget what he looks like uh, but whoever looks intently into the perfect law that gives freedom and continues in it uh, no not not forgetting what they have heard uh, but doing it uh, 
they will be blessed in what they do. Verse number 26. Those who consider themselves religious, religious and they do not keep a tight, tight rein on their religion is worthless. Verse number 26. Those who consider themselves religious and they do not keep a tight rein on their tongues deceive themselves and God and their religion is worthless. Religion that God our Father accepts as pure and, and faultless is this to look at orphans and windows in their distress and to keep oneself from being polluted by the one. Verse number 26. Those who consider themselves religious and they do not keep a tight rein on their tongues deceive themselves and their religion is worthless. Religion that God our Father accepts as pure and faultless is this to look after ovens and windows in their distress and to keep oneself from being polluted by the world. Chene tu wamine na tuombe. Baba neno lako liko mbele zetu. Naomba Jehova ukanene nasi ukazungumuze Bwana na mtazamaji. Sikilizaji ukazungumuze naye katika jina la Yesu na umutende makuu. Kwa jina la Yesu tunaomba na kuamini. Ah uh, Ningependa siku ya leo tuzungumuzie manta ama our title for today it is faith in action imani iliyo na matendo imani iliyo na matendo na huyu ni mtumishi wa Mungu Yakobo ambayo anaandikia anaandikia kanisa La Jerusalem the council in Jerusalem he is writing to the 12 tribes scattered among the nation wana wa Israeli ambayo wanadhiakiwa na Gentiles wanadhiakiwa na Wayahudi na Yakobo anaandika waraka akiwahimiza kana kwamba wasivunjike moyo waamini katika Yesu Kristo ambayo ana uwezo wa kuwatoa katika viaka ambayo wanapitia na asubuhi ya leo tuendapo na kutazama katika imani iliyo na matendo ningependa nikutie nguvu asubuhi ya leo nikikuambia ya kwamba Yesu ukiamini katika Yesu huyu Yesu atapata na kukutia nguvu Uyu Yesu atapata na kukutoa katika hiyo changamoto katika hiyo hali ambayo ni ngumu katika maisha yako katika jina la Yesu Ipasha James is helping the people the Israelites and all the nation to know the truth about God and he is challenging them to live their lives for God waache maisha yao waachie Mungu maisha yao ili Mungu akatawale ili Yesu Kristo akaongoze maisha yao he is encouraging them to do ada kama wanapitia mateso ada kama wanapitia mambo mangumu wajua ya kwamba kuna Mungu ambaye ana nguvu za kuwatoa katika changamoto za kila aina Osa Yakobo James he is asking them and wauliza katika number 14 verse number 14 why is it that the devil never gets the credit when things will get wrong wanini shetani ana faida yoyote hakuna jambo ambalo 
linaongezeka katika maisha yake he doesn't gain anything when he does away with your life when he does away with your grace ana wauliza arakama shetani ana wajaribu kwa nini anabaki kuwa kiwango alichoko ambacho tunaamini he is a loser now and forever we are more than conquerors in Jesus when we believe in Jesus i am more than conqueror my brother you are more than conqueror my sister you are more than conqueror Unayo nguvu ukimwamini Mungu. Lakini kile ambacho kinatufanya tukae maisha ya kudhai kudhaikiwa ile ambacho tunayokufanya tukae maisha ya shida it is our greed it is our gluttonous oh ni posa tunasahau na Mungu unajiona ya kwamba we are more special than our Jesus Christ we are more we are more special than the work for God as assigned you to do that because of our gladness because of our greed Shetani anatumia Hiyo kiburi chako ili akutumie akuharibu Hapo unaona unaanza tunaanza na ku blame our God when things go wrong and to allies lakini asubuhi leo ninakuambia ya kwamba the most important thing i want you to know this morning the most special thing i need you to know this morning it is that god our god is good our god is god of love our god is just na ukitoa mambo ya matatu You will come at the devil. You will do away with your trials. In the name of Jesus. Just speak about maturity. You are maturity how mature you are. Through your trials. And he is needed God. You need God's wisdom. So that you can make the right decision during your this during your trials so that you can make right decision during your trials katika majaribu unahitaji hekima tunahitaji hekima ambayo inatoka kwa Bwana ambayo inatokana na neema kuu ambayo ni neema ya msalaba Haleluya jina la Yesu. Dua ya kwamba Yesu ni mzuri. Yesu ni Yesu wa upendo. Na Yesu ni Yesu wa wakati. Anakutendea. Haleluya jina la Yesu. Iposa ya kopo. Hajafika mwisho. Anazungumzia Anazungumzia mambo maine ambayo asubuhi ya leo ningependa tujifunze ningependa uyatambue na ikuongoze wakati wa majaribu wakati wa changamoto haleluya jina la Yesu Jambo la kwanza 
My brother, my sister, you have to have a change in your attitude. You have to have change in your behavior. The way you live, the way you talk, you have to change and live the life of Jesus. Verse number 19 to 21. It is speaks about her. The way you should listen, he resigns. You want to be quick to listen. Slow to speak, my brother, and slow to anchor. How can you mind shampoo? You are quick to listen, quick to speak. Oh, Mama Wengi. Kukasirika wazetu na kasirika uvyovyo. Mwandiko Pauli, Yakobo anatukatasa. Kukasirika kuwa wepesi. Wakukasirika. Tusiwa watu wakuonge araka. Lakini tukue watu wakusikisa. Praise the name of the Lord. Anger does not show the righteousness of our God. A sinner. I let you to go for a one. So control yourself, my brother, my sister. My father, my mommy, control yourself. Anger does not show the righteousness of our Lord Jesus Christ. So you have to change, my brother. The twelve, the twelve tribes of Israel, they were angry. Because Akuna yule ambaye Alikuwa na itaje kudai kudia ikiwa There is no one who needs To get persecuted Hata wewe akuna wakati Baya unapendezo na kudia ikiwa Baya unapendezo na kubitia changamoto Ila mtu wanaitaji ukaa maisha mazuri, maisha ya kupendeza, maisha ambayo ni ya mtu onarepu. Hii njaanza sahi, hili anza wakati, wakani sala Yerusalemu, as they were meeting up, ya kubu wakandika, waraka na katuma. Hili kuwaonya ambao wanadhiaki wana wa mungu. Hiwa wewe ni mwana wa mungu. Hiwa wewe una muamini Yesu Kristo. Try us. You can do away with that when you believe in Jesus. Faith in action. Oh, number two. Listen quickly and be slow to speak. You want to listen fast and chant speaks about listening quickly. Na nazini na kuzungumusia kuhusu
That's why this morning I'm speaking. I'm telling you, you have to change. Don't all change. Why, fellow Surah, I am sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Revelation chapter 4, verse 22. It tells us of the needs to put off our own self. The need to put off your own self. And to be mad new. Usau na mtu wa kitambo tabia za kitambo do away with them and be my new this morning my brother in the mighty name of Jesus James tells us to humbly accept the word planted in you planted in me Praise the name of the Lord. Which can serve? You can serve his people. Hear the my name of Jesus. To so this morning you need a total change, my brother. Point number three. We need to do more than to listen. We need to do more than listening. James chapter number one, verse 22 down 25. Do not merely listen, but act. My brother, act. Do not merely listen to the word, but he is encouraging us to act as the word tells us this morning. Do what the word says. Because the death of our faith is only proven through your action, through my action, through our action. The death of my faith it is proven. By my faith. In the name of Jesus. Why if you do more, do more than to listen? Verse 25. It speaks about the benefits of acting upon the perfect law of God. Which it gives us my freedom. It gives you your freedom to live freely. A life acceptable. Ama vile Yesu haraitaji tukai. Point number four. Na indio ambayo imekuwa changamoto katika ulimwengu indio ambayo imekuwa changamoto katika makanisa katika waumini na yoni Sikiza kwa makini my brother We need to stop giving God worthless religion you need to stop giving your God what last religion. Yako Bazura Kwaza Musari Wishinu Nasita, down to 27. God does not want our what last religion. God does not want your what last religion. God does not want your what last religion. It is not enough to just turn up every very morning, very early in the morning, and you go to the church. 
It is not enough to go with the seminars. But you should be judged through your knowing Jesus Christ as a personal savior. In the mighty name of Jesus. And in fact, you should show it through faith in action. Yabala Muiso. I would like to tell you, and to tell you this morning. When you have truly accepted Jesus as your personal Savior in your life, Jesus Christ will transform your life. Jesus Christ is going to transform you. He's going to transform your life. So, accept Jesus this morning. Yes, your personal savior, and he will transform your life. He will make you conquer all forms of trials in your life. So I believe in God, and your faith must be accompanied with action. So, Ninge Penda, Tuamini, na tuombe tunapomalizia mtakatifu tazama umezungumza nasi kuhusu faith in action and all almighty this morning i pray wanjili ya huyu mtazamaji ili bwana wa israeli ukamuokoa na ukamumpe amani itokayo kwako katika jina la Yesu. Uliwa Bwana tukuka, uketie mahali pa juu. Kwa maana Bwana wa Israeli, hili neno lako lina imani ya kwamba imebadilisha maisha yetu. Bwana wa Israeli ijalishi, unapitia changamoto za aina tofauti. Umetuambia ya kwamba tukumo tukuamini. Imani yetu Bwana iandamane na matendo. Katika jina la Yesu. Uliwa Bwana tukuka uketia mahali pa juu. Sande Bwana ni kwa ajili ya hii nafasi. Maya Bwana umenifungulia. Mara kwa mara Bwana. Ili Bwana nipate na kuzungumza na wana wako. Ninasema ni asante. Tubariki Bwana. Na ubariki Bwana. Hata Bwana hii studio. Halika jina la Yesu. Asante kwa maana unatenda maku. Halika jina la Yesu. Na tuseme amen. Wherever you are. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And God bless you, my dear viewers. God bless you. Thank you.